Welcome back to another video. This is the first video of the new year. And we're going to start things off with Nubora OS. We all know what Nubora is by now. Uh, we do Neo Fetch. Uh, we end up getting the Nubora thing. I know I'm on a 1440p monitor. Give me a second. Ready? It's almost there. Now, the thing we didn't do is install the NVIDIA drivers. Because if you're going to be upgrading from Nubora... 36 to Nabora 37, you're going to need to remove your NVIDIA drivers. And uh, to do that, that honestly should be as simple as doing this, just pasting this. And I'm going to leave this on the screen. I'm actually going to make this a bit bigger so you guys can see it because I know you, uh, the people who are doing the upgrading might have a few problems and I don't want you guys to do that. So I want to make this as clear as I can in this video. So there you go. So you want to do sudo DNF remove NVIDIA with a star, CUDA with a star, n -Site with a star, uh, Xorg X11 driver NVIDIA with a star, GDS tools, sudo DNF module reset NVIDIA driver. This will get rid of everything. And what's good about that is we can upgrade without any issues whatsoever. Now, if you know anything about Nabura, we're basically... I've got no NVIDIA driver installed. You need to remember this. I'm running this off of the open source version. That's why it's so weird. We're going to open this. And it's going to basically update all the repos. How, how do I just make this go? No, that's definitely not it. So it's just going to install every update. And we want to install every update before we even try to update to the next um, version of Nubora, which is based off of Fedora 37. So this is it. You just go to update and sync. That should pretty much do it because it updates and refreshes and then distro syncs and refreshes. And that's something you want. Now, this is going to take seconds for me because I literally just downloaded all those in front of you in less than a couple of seconds. And we're going to be installing them all. And after we do this, uh, we might reboot, we might not. I might just go straight into upgrading. It really does just depend on who you are in general, right? But yeah, we're done. Everything has been installed. Uh, things have been cleaned up. As you can see, stuff has been moved around. Now, I don't know what's new right now altogether between Fedora 36 and 37. I know there's been a bunch of packages updates. Uh, the kernel's not really changing that much. It goes from GNOME 42 to 43, so instead of having this pretty control center, we're about to have a really ugly, bloated one that's pretty much copying Android and uh, makes me want to gag constantly. I know people don't like my opinion on the fact that I think it's ugly. I think Android itself has become ugly, and I, I can't stand looking at it. They think it's an improvement, but in all honesty, it just it makes me want to stay as far away from Android as I possibly can. I just I just don't like looking at it. So as you can see, it's waiting for a pit to finish. So let's process ID and it asks us to reboot. We're not going to reboot. Now I'm going to get rid of all of this. We're going to clear this because I want to keep using this one because it's already maxed out. We're going to hit clear. Just like that. It gets rid of everything. Now once that's done, um, what we need to do is this. Now I am recording an MKV, so I can I can literally just do this. And here's what happens. Yes, I want to continue. I've already done that. And it's going to grab every single new thing. It should be around 2.2 gigs for the update. And uh, I want to make sure you see the whole thing so you don't get freaked out if it just stops like it did. Because it does have to read certain things from repos. And it's reading pretty quickly, but the way this version of DNF does it is kind of slow. Uh, the new version of DNF that's coming is going to be much quicker, much faster. It's going to be like lightning. So right now it's matching for group packages. And as you can see, it's 2.5 gigs. So we're going to hit yes. Now, the reason you remove the NVIDIA drivers before you update is to reduce the amount of issues. 
And once you're done, it will prompt you to automatically reinstall uh, the drivers, which is what you want. Now, as you noticed, we're getting a lot of drop frames in the video. I think it just went back to 60. I turned off the enable preview so you guys could have a much smoother experience. This is very taxing on the CPU, what I'm doing, plus downloading at the same time. So they're kind of sharing resources because I want to make sure this is as clear as possible for you guys. You can see we're just we're downloading the packages right now at around 16, 17, 19 megabytes a second. Uh, when it hits something big, it's going to pause for a second, but I doubt we're going to hit anything big. And it looks like everything is working so far. If we encounter any errors during this upgrade process, I will, of course, deal with them in real time. Because upgrading things can be scary. You're always afraid something's going to break. And uh, I will be there with you if something does break and we need to fix it. And we will fix it. Now, so far this has been smooth. Uh, 200 packages left. Actually, no. And we're done. <laughs> God, I love having a fast internet. So we're going to hit yes to this because we have to import a bunch of new keys. And uh, once we're done with this, the next upgrade process should be very simple. My CPU usage went down. So there's Thomas Cider. So this is Nabora stuff. This is all recorded in H.264, not H.265 like I'm used to. So it's very heavy because I didn't install the NVIDIA drivers. We're on, we're on Fedora 37 right now. So we're on Deborah 37. As you can see, it's been updated. And um, hopefully it's going to ask me for my drivers. There they are. We're going to just hit yes. Currently they're installing. So it's going to grab any updates it needs. Then it's going to do the driver installation. Once that's done, we're going to reboot. And then we're going to meet back here. And I'm going to cover as many of the changes as I can find. And we should be able to have uh a non-glitchy experience because if you could see what i see right now uh you'd be terrified because it's like uh hmm. do you remember that really broken experience from windows xp where it would like multiply the windows when you move it the smear effect yeah that's what's happening it's uh it's kind of scary okay the drivers are starting to update which is always good uh, that took a while. I actually had to do something before they would, which is manually update everything. So that's pseudo DNF update. And then I had to run hardware check. So HW check again in the terminal uh, to get this to start moving. And after that, it worked out perfectly. This is still glitching horribly on my end, by the way. I wish you could see it. It's hilarious. Like it's just out of control. I honestly don't know how it's not being captured in OBS, but it's uh, it's hilarious. <laughs> so these drivers are just gonna take a couple more minutes to install. Now, this is where most people screw up. They'll end up forced restarting, and you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to wait until the driver just does its thing. So it will verify. Once it's completed, you hit restart, you have your drivers working, and then we're gonna get back to the desktop and how everything works. That should be fun, hopefully. And my food's almost here, which is nice. Now, we do have another video to do tonight. I will be replacing uh, Nubora 37, of course, with another uh, distro, which is called Vanilla OS, because I have to go over the changes in that as well. I will possibly be going over the changes for that in a VM, so this might not disappear. And video driver is complete and installed. And there it is. We can now restart. So I'm going to go do that. Okay, so the upgrade's complete. We are back. Uh, our displays are all screwed up because we didn't have a driver installed before. So one's over there. The middle one needs to be changed to variable refresh rate at 165. And again, we are using our 3070, so uh, you got to remember that variable refresh rate works now or NVIDIA using Wayland. And, but yeah, um, there we have it. We've upgraded to GNOME. We upgraded to GNOME 43. Uh, we got a newer kernel. We have newer NVIDIA drivers that support variable refresh rate. 
uh we're on fedora 37 in all technicality so if we actually do this give me one second up to you up to you and it goes big as we can neo fetch the boro linux 37 kernel 6.0.15 free sync uh sorry f sync and we got here the resolution's incorrect because it's reading from another monitor. Gnome 43.2. Uh, we're on Mutter. A Dueda, unfortunately. Yeah. We're using our NVIDIA GPU. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I know this has been a long video, but I wanted to go over through the entire process with you because, you know, it's important in case you come across any issues. I didn't, which was nice. And I'll see you guys in the next video.